Okay, so here I'm going to explain how to install a Moodle version for testing that runs in your Windows computer. Okay, I'm going to go from the start until the end. So you open your browser and you navigate to Moodle. Then you go to Downloads. Click on latest release and you can see here that you can have a Moodle installer package that will go for the one for Windows and I will choose the last version that is stable. Okay, so let's download this. This is a compressed file that has a lot of files inside. It will take some time to download, download it all. I'm going to pause. Okay, so I have my file downloaded. I will go to downloads. Here it is. Here it is. So I am going to extract this file into a folder I will create in C. I already have one installation, but I will make a new one. Okay, so let's put Moodle for 4.0, second part. And let's extract everything inside. It finishes extracting, so I'm going to close this and let's go to the folder. So it's on this C this one right so you will see here that all the files of Moodle are inside this and you have a start and a stop so I don't need this browser anymore let's close it what I usually do is I put this into the desktop as shortcuts okay so I click on the Alt tab and this will create a shortcut, right? So now, the only thing I need to do is start Moodle here. This will uh, install Apache. I will need to click on Allow Access. So now Apache, which is the server uh, program that allows my computer to work as a server, uh, at least for me, uh, it is installed. And also a database engine that Moodle needs, and so we and, uh, and an operating system, so we are ready to start. So I need to open a browser, any browser will do. And I should just need to go to the local host or sometimes it is just this URL. So it could be this one or it could be local host. Let's try this one. This is my own computer. So I'm actually being a client to a server that is in my own computer. It found Moodle and I need to install it. So let's see. I will choose English. Let's go to the standard options. Everything standard. Click on next. I'm not going to put a database password. It's just for testing purposes. I will just click on next. So this is where Moodle is installing the database. I confirm. This is the copyright of Moodle. It tells me that everything is okay. Check is not a critical error. It just means that my site is not secure, but it's in my own computer, so I don't care. Click on 
continue. And now the installation of Moodle will begin. Will begin. It will take some time. This is a long page that will start loading and until it reaches the end. Okay, so I pause it because it took some time, but it's just it's been loading these messages of success, installing every plugin that Moodle needs. As I said, this is a long page that is loading slowly. If you read something like this. Well, it's not a problem because this is an external, this is the external tool of Moodle to connect to a different site. We are not going to connect to any site. This is for testing uh, the new features of Moodle. So it is no problem to keep it, like it's going to work anyway. Okay, so we have finally reached the end of the page. It loaded for a long time. Let's click on continue. All right, so now we need to finalize the installation. First of all, we need to create our admin user, which is going to be the username admin, and I'm going to put a password that needs to have a uppercase, a number, and a, an alphanumeric character. Let's put uh, any email, I don't care. Let's put Adrian at no mail okay then my city my country and update the profile I could have changed also the time zone of this server, of the moon. All right. Now, this is going to be Moodle 4.02, Moodle 4.02, testing. Hi, this is a testing site. Okay, so my default time zone, I usually use, you know, Asia, Jerusalem. Self-registration disabled, support email, I need to put some, some email here. Not important now. Save change. Okay, so this uh, no reply by, uh, is not valid. Let's put no reply, no mail. Welcome. Fine. So now we have Moodle 4.0. Got it. And just one user, which is the admin and maybe a guest user. Right. So we have our Moodle. We can create new users. Right, add a new user and test with the instructors and, and students and everything. Now, one more thing. Uh, if we are testing a, a lot of things that require Moodle to think and calculate grades, uh, it's good to also run cron, which is like the pumping heart of Moodle. Uh, usually in, in most sites, it's uh, cron runs one time every minute. 
But for a testing side, it's actually sometimes you need to run it, not every time. So how do you run cron? So first of all, you go to site administration, you go to the security settings. Let's see if we can find it. Security. You find cron, right? And you say, I want to run cron, not just from command line, but also from the browser. And you can put a password here, which I can use open session, right? Then I save. Now in the same page, in the same browser, I will open a new window and I will use this URL to run Chrome. You see, it's running. And it finished. Okay, you can do this once a day uh, or even when you need it. It's not so important. So cron has been run, the site is running, everything's running. How do I close this site? Well, I log out. Okay, I can close this browser if I want. Uh, and then you can see that here, this window has all the time been running in the background, which is the system that allows Moodle to work. So I don't, I should not close this window. It will close automatically when I double click here in the stop Moodle. You will see that this will stop Apache, will stop the database, will stop everything, and will close all the, and will close this window too. Let's see, if it didn't, if it didn't, sometimes it closes, sometimes it doesn't but it's closed, so I can close this one. So now I don't have a server in my computer. You can see that because when you try to refresh, the same page that was working is not working anymore. So now Moodle is closed and to reopen it again, you just go to start Moodle, you wait until this says, that it's fine. You see, Apache and MySQL are running. Now you refresh this and you're back in mobile. I hope this has been helpful for you.